Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is the Cody 17 Krypton release candidate. Now, first thing you got to do is you got to go to the website, and I'll have that in, in the link in the description. I'll also put it on somewhere on this video. So it will install on a bunch of different operating systems Windows, Linux, Android, Raspberry Pi iOS but it has to be jailbroken or OS X now I'm doing the Windows version of Kodi Krypton now this is a release candidate which means that if you want to tinker with it or test it out on a machine that isn't your uh, everyday machine like I'm doing it on my laptop so this is not exactly what I have in my living room so I can test it out and see how well the Krypton release candidate actually works if there are any bugs. Also testing this out to see if my add-ons will be enabled after I launch the uh, updated version since I'm copying over the original version of Jarvis 16.1. Once it finishes click run Kodi and then close it and as you can see TV add-ons is already listed at the startup screen and now you can see on the top right hand corner that my add-ons are all updating to the Krypton version. Okay so now let's check out music add-ons. They seem to be all here. I don't use them a ton so I really don't know how well they're going to work in this version of it. Uh, radio I don't use. Now videos I do use and so let's check out the add-ons in the video. Interface looks totally different. Everything is a lot cleaner um, and I'll have to get used to it but it seems pretty quick. So let's check out a movie in Exodus which is my favorite uh, add-on in Cody. They have the little uh, movie information now is displayed along with the uh, year and the length of the movie. So it looks a lot different. It's like they put a lot of thought into the layout and the presentation. So let's check out the Magnificent Seven. So it's loading its sources just like Jarvis used to. And it's taking about the same amount of time as it would in Jarvis so it doesn't seem any faster in this respect and I just wanted to mention that that little round dot on my screen is from my video capture I'm going to definitely turn that off for future videos because it definitely tweaks out it shouldn't be there but it is so apologize for that okay there's our video sources and you can see that there is one 1080p from G video so I'm gonna click on that and let's see how long it takes to come up. Oh, it's coming up pretty quick, actually. So that's a good sign. And it looks like it's in pretty good resolution, too. So the layout for the player, once again, common theme. It's totally different. Um, seems a lot cleaner, uh, but the information is just in different places. So if you click on the little I, it gives you the director and the story and if you click on it twice you'll actually get the cast so that's kind of a neat feature I don't remember if that was in the old Jarvis definitely looks like the quality is there um, plays just as good as Jarvis does I don't see any major stutters obviously it's based on your uh, download speed also so if you have a slow network it's it might not play as well not too bad a little bit of stutter there so let's go into the settings and let's just look at all the different settings for the players once again Looks totally different than Jarvis, so if you're really good at Jarvis, it's going to have a little bit of a learning curve. If uh, this is your first 
delve into Cody, then you can learn along with everyone else. And if you click on that little uh, cog on the bottom, you can change it from basic to advanced. So there's different things that you could turn on and off. I'm going to leave it all pretty much stock for now. And I have the video paused in the background. That's why there's a background. Normally there wouldn't be. So I tried to turn on AirPlay mode, and when I first clicked on it, it told me that I had to enable the zero config. And so I went up to general and enabled it, and then I tried to test it later, and I could not get it to work. So I don't know if that is going to be in future updates, and it's just sitting there. Uh, I also enabled the weather just for fun, and that was pretty easy to do. Just go in there and enable, pick one, enable it, click your settings. And then I wanted to look at the skin. So it looks like they have two different skins by default for the Krypton. And then there's a bunch of other skins that you can try and download. I wasn't sure if they were going to be compatible, so I decided to leave that for a later test. And then you can go into system information and just see how your system is running and uh, see your stats on there and see your uh, file manager to see your add-ons. There's my weather. And now we're back at the player. And like I said, if you click the eye twice, you can get the cast, but not just the plot. And you can also uh, see what resolution and, and any of your settings that the video is playing back on. So that kind of was used to show while it was just playing and you hit pause. Now you have to hit the information. And if you, now this is kind of a cool feature. When you go into the add-on section, you'll see all your add-ons, you know. So whether it's music or video or uh, a program, it's all sitting there. So I'm going to go into Check Live TV real quick and see how that works. And that seems to be working pretty good. And I'm going to try another video source here. And that one seems to be playing back pretty good, too. So I would say that overall, the interface is the biggest change. But the actual performance is, is pretty on par with the Jarvis build. Okay, so let's skip forward a little bit in the video, see how quick it jumps forward. So let's click on there. And yeah, that was pretty quick. Not bad at all. And like I said, the quality is pretty good. And I do like the fact that, you know, all of that, it, the interface looks a lot cleaner. Now, some bonus information, how to clear your cache and do zero buffering uh, set up your player so that it can if you hit pause it will it will load up the movie and it won't get to a certain point and stop downloading it so if you go down to where your maintenance tool is and this is if you have certain builds you'll have built-in maintenance tools I happen to have the TV add-ons build and it has this nice little maintenance tool that you can go into and do some tweaks 
to your Kodi. So let's click on that. And you can see there's system tweaks and there's also general maintenance on the top right hand corner. Um, let's go into general maintenance. And then you see where it says clear cache. You want to do this every once in a while. This will get rid of some of those files that are uh, clogging up your system, maybe slowing it down. And then if you go into system tweaks, there is a thing called enable zero cache settings. You want to click on that and that will allow you to put the video on pause and it will keep you from buffering so much. You can back up your system if you want to or you could just click uh, yes. I've done this many times and never had a problem. But you know, you can never have too many backups. Here we go. Final thoughts time. Cody 17 Krypton. RC looks totally different as far as interface and navigation. I installed it on a test machine since this is a release candidate and not a final build. This is very important. If you are not willing to tweak with your system or your current version is working well, I would not upgrade it yet. The Cody team says on the website that you could encounter issues and it could be unstable. As far as my testing goes, it ran really well and I had no major problems. Cody team has done a great job on this one, but there is a learning curve and setting setups on add-ons and other tweaks might not work or be done in a different manner. I would wait to upgrade until the final version is released. That way everything has been tested and some tutorial videos have been produced to aid in setups. That's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. As always, comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks for watching again.